So we've discussed a lot of the vessels in the UNN, but I think there's one ship that we've missed, and it played a pretty crucial role in the last season of The Expanse, so I figured today we could take a closer look at the Nathan Hale class battleship. I'm Colin, and this is Sci-Fi Deep Dive. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to head down below and hit that subscribe button. So the UNN used a wide variety of battleships. In fact, they seem to have used more heavier warships than the Martians, which seem to rely a lot on their Donager class battleships for their heavy fire support, where the UN had at least two, possibly three classes that could be considered battleships. And today we're going to look at one that really took the spotlight during the events of Season 6 of The Expanse. Let's take a look at the Nathan Hale class battleship. Now, we don't know for sure exactly how long the Nathan Hale class battleship is, but estimates seem to put it at right around 250 meters long, making it only slightly larger than the Scirocco class assault cruiser utilized by the Martians. We know that the Nathan Hale class was powered by four Epstein drives arranged in a sort of cross formation, and it was armed with a pair of heavy railguns, six large bow-mounted torpedo tubes capable of firing conventional plasma or nuclear torpedoes, and an array of 16 point defense cannons to shield the vessel against incoming torpedoes and other close quarters combatants. On board, they could carry at least one 1XL type dropship, the same type of dropship skiff utilized by both the Martians and the UN, and that it featured advanced carbon silicate lace plating. This provided it with an additional layer of protection. A few interesting tidbits before we continue. The railguns mounted on the Nathan Hale class battleship seem similar, but still slightly different from the railguns mounted on the Truman class dreadnought. They were likely produced in the same factory, perhaps even on the same assembly line, but used some minor modifications to likely downscale them ever so slightly, ultimately making them something similar to the medium class railguns present on the Leonidas class. Another thing to note about the torpedo launchers mounted on the bow of the vessel is similar to most UN and Martian vessels, they are in fact auto-loading. They have their own magazines that are internal, and once torpedoes are discharged, they are reloaded from this internal magazine. Another thing that's interesting and worth noting about this vessel is that it seems to have a relatively advanced avionics and display system as evident in the displays in the command center on board. These displays are actually fairly similar to the displays we see on Martian vessels, which suggests that the UN is sort of starting to catch up with the Martian's technological advantage. The Nathan Hale class battleship is one of the first major ships that I am aware of that was in the TV show and not present in the books, and it's likely because it fills a very specific role in the TV show. You see, we only know of one Nathan Hale class battleship, and that is the Zenobia. The UNN Zenobia served as the flagship of the UNN fleet during the Free Navy conflict, and it served as UNN 1 during that war, being sort of the center of operations for the UN government during most of the conflict, which is a very interesting perspective for a government to take, putting their leaders, the Secretary of State, directly in the line of fire and putting her on the command ship of the fleet. But other than that, we don't really know much about this vessel. It would be interesting to see it in more roles, especially in the upcoming Telltale game, and fingers crossed, a new TV show or movie set in the television series' universe. But the Nathan Hale class really doesn't crop up anywhere else. It's interesting to see another example of the UNN at least calling other ships battleships, but seeming to rely more on heavier vessels than the Martians, which like I've said in past videos, seem to be more reliant on smaller, more nimble, more technologically advanced ships, where the UN seems to be going for sheer tonnage. All in all, I think the Nathan Hale is maybe the best-looking UN warship out there, almost because it kind of looks like a Martian warship. Its more straight and sleek silhouette seems to resemble more the vessels of the Martian Navy than the Truman class or Leonidas class we see fielded by the UN. And I think because of that, it's one of the better looking ships. And it played a very interesting role in the UN's conflict with the Free Navy. And if you'd like to learn more about why the Free Navy lost that conflict and why they never really had a chance to begin with, I'll leave a link up here to my video all about why the Free Navy was doomed to fail from the beginning. And I want you to let me know down in the comments whether you think the Nathan Hale class battleship should actually be called a battleship. After all, it's not much bigger than the Scirocco class assault cruiser. It's really not that much more armed, either. 
So do you think it's appropriate to call it a battleship or should it be maybe a heavy cruiser or something along those lines? And if you have anything else you'd like to see me cover in The Expanse, leave it down below in the comments. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Sci-Fi Deep Dive, I'm Colin, and I will see you next time.